Hello coders! In the previous five videos, we developed a splash screen and two puzzles for an escape room app. In this sixth and final video, I will suggest some creative ways to personalize this app and make it your own. First, I go up to My Projects, choose Save Project As, and change this to V6 for version 6, and click OK. When App Inventor loads the new copy of this app, I see it's reverted to phone size, so I will once again change it to tablet size. I'd like to make some observations about this components list on the right side of the screen. Please notice that some of these component groups have an icon with a minus sign, and some of these component groups have an icon with a plus sign. If we click the plus sign, we can expand that component group. And if we click a minus sign, we can collapse that component group. Also notice that some of these component groups are visible and some are invisible. So for example, if I click on vertical arrangement splash screen, it is currently invisible. The visible component property is not checked. If I go to puzzle one, that is not visible. Canvas puzzle two is visible. I'm going to uncheck that box. I can certainly check it and bring it back and horizontal arrangement RULOC is visible, and I'm gonna leave it that way. I'm now going to choose puzzle one and make it visible so I can make some enhancements on this app. So one idea for an enhancement is to provide the user with some feedback when they are attempting to use the switches to unlock puzzle one. If you played with your app, you probably noticed that as you try different combinations and click the check switches button, you only get positive feedback and you never get any negative feedback or it appears the app is frozen and nothing happens when you press the button. So in your user interface, you can add a notifier component to your app. And if you'd like to learn how to use the notifier, there is a really great tutorial on YouTube you can search for how to use the Notifier app in App Inventor from Sparv Academy and check that out. Another idea for enhancing your app and making it your own is to improve your horizontal room lock so that this timer works. Currently, we set up a label that has 100 seconds on the clock, but that never changed when we ran our app. So if you'd like to learn how to use a timer in your app, maybe add a little bit more pressure and intensity as people try to escape your room, you can go to YouTube and search for App Inventor Make a Timer Countdown from Amanda Hogan. She has an excellent tutorial that you can follow. Third, you can certainly change this theme uh, from Pirates to any theme you want to personalize this app and make it your own. A fourth idea is to add an end screen to the app. To do so, you'll have to go to the layout screen and drag out a new vertical arrangement to your user interface. Make sure you rename it appropriately when you create that new vertical arrangement. Remember in your component screen, you can use the visibility property to check which arrangements you can see and not see. One idea might be to create a vertical arrangement with a background image of an open door showing that they have finally escaped the app. And you can add more puzzles to this app. Remember our secret code in this tutorial is four characters long. Puzzle one and puzzle two only provided the user with the first two characters they need to escape the room. So adding a third or fourth puzzle could provide them with the last couple characters they need once they see all four characters of that secret code on their user interface, they should be able to type that secret code into the text box, and they should be able to click the escape button to finally escape the app. A final tip is that MIT App Inventor limits the size of your app to a maximum number of megabytes. So try to upload smaller image files and shorter sound files if you can. I hope you found this tutorial series helpful. Good luck and have fun.